Landing an interview with reluctant sources and convincing them to talk on the record and be recorded is not easy. It's one thing to sit there and scribble down notes, in a much more heightened situation to hold up a microphone to someone. Here are some tips so you don't blow this opportunity and come away with audio that's good for broadcast. One, check your gear. Whether it's a smartphone or a digital recorder, make 100% certain the equipment is fully charged or has fresh batteries. Have extra batteries and extra flashcards on hand just in case. Two, pick a quiet place. Often that's an office, but inside a car is a good option too, if you're outdoors and there are lots of unpredictable noises, like cars driving by. Turn off the sounds on your cell phone and ask your subject to do the same. Avoid setting up near noisy machines or in interior spaces that echo. Three, wear your headphones so you can listen closely for any problems in the sound, like a hiss, or maybe there's someone in the room who's drumming their fingers on the table. Four, stand close to the person. I suggest holding the microphone within about a foot of a person's face. Five, adjust your levels. Before starting the interview, ask your subject what they had for breakfast or lunch and watch your levels on the meter to adjust. Not too low and not too hot. Levels should peak around 12 decibels. Six, record the room tone or ambient sound before or after your interview. This is just natural sound without anyone talking and is often a huge help when mixing a final feature for radio. Finally, back up your sound file as soon as you finish recording. You don't want to follow all these tips just to lose your great interview by skipping the last simple step. Mm -hmm.